all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video guys right after this chart analysis i have a ticker symbol to share with you as well as the opportunities i found this morning over at the discord we managed to hit a home run with one of them 20 to 25 percent up on the day and if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. So here we are with CLNE, Clean Energy Fuels. This is a stock that I once talked about way back here in January, going into February, and it took off. I mean, we started talking about this one back at eight dollars we talked about it at 10 and it hit a high of 19 obviously things have pulled back since then and this was a stock that was struggling to get back up but it actually hit lows here of about seven dollars and some change and here it is now taking off again a lot of investors feel like it's too late and i would feel the same because from 7 to 13 and a high here of 14 that's 2x already right could this continue that's the question so we're going to talk about some points to watch going into tomorrow and moving forward because CLNE is a stock that is speculated to actually benefit from an infrastructure plan that the Biden administration has, right? The new administration, and this is not to talk about politics, but to talk about stocks and how these infrastructures can actually affect certain stocks because this is in the clean energy sector and that's what the administration is now focusing on spending and if they spend on that that makes future revenue and growth for these stocks sustainable because they're going to get funding so clne is not just short term but also speculative long term but right now this is moving up because it's one of the top talk stocks right now by the reddit forums again and made it to the top stocks in the list and here we are with clne actually pulling back hitting lows of 11 and taking off so what do we need to look for going into tomorrow well right now we're above the 50-day moving average which is 11.24 to be exact anything above it is bullish anything below it is bearish now our first support level to watch here is 1208 if that gets broken through i would watch how it reacts between 1208 and the 50-day moving average if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears tear this one down fairly fast so super important to watch that very carefully and very closely now our resistance level it's the highest point reached in the day and that was back here at 1450 and the highest point after hours is all the way up here at 1484 so those two need to be broken through turn into supports so that the bulls can reach newer highs new resistance levels continue this momentum and pull further away from the 50-day moving average in the upward direction so is this a short squeeze we're gonna have to see or is this the beginning of it but this has been fighting upwards consolidated took off pulled back hitting newer highs newer lows and now taking off again with a setup to continue to run if this can go into tomorrow it's going to be very interesting and if you learned something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post share this with a friend so they can go ahead and receive the insight as well and stay tuned all i ask for is three to five more minutes of your time we're going to discuss the home run that we hit today that was 20 to 25 percent over at the discord and the ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list that since i spoke about it on the patreon and here on the youtube towards the second half of the videos it hit already 20 percent plus and now it's pulling back a little bit and this is a great time to start watching it stay tuned So the ticker symbol I have for us today is one that I've mentioned before on the Patreon and even announced here on the YouTube shortly after, just a few days later. Right now, the stock has jumped up a 10 to 15% jump, and it's currently pulling back and sitting in a consolidation period sideways. So we're going to look at that chart in just a moment. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the opportunities we found this morning over at the Discord. And if that's something you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description. 
And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. So we caught CKPT early on in the morning. It pulled back a little bit after hitting those lows. That's when it gave us the 5 to 10% opportunity. It bounced back up after hitting the 320s. NAPT was our worst performer of the day, giving us 3 to 5% on the day after jumping back up. And XERS gave us 5 to 8% after pulling back at the bell and jumping up pretty fast in a matter of 10 minutes. Now, WORX was our home run of the day. We caught this one pretty early. It didn't have a lot of volume and it had been jumping 10% twice in the last several minutes in that morning. So the volatility was huge. I saw an opportunity here and this was getting close to becoming a home run after it hit like 10% plus and all of a sudden, it took off even higher. So we're gonna look at the chart right now and why it's so important that timing and execution is everything, but knowing where to look gets you started. And from there on out, you need to look at the charts. So when I mentioned it, it was at 221. It was pulling back, still above the 50 day moving average, hit a low here of about 198 and shot up to a high here, right? The highest point of 247 and right here was 245, giving the highest point of the day a 20 to 25 percent jump the highest point was 25 percent it was phenomenal for the day on a wednesday with all the volatility going on in meme stocks and all the stocks overall all these short squeezes jumping up pulling down this turned out to be a home run for the day phenomenal if this is something you want to become part of and you want to know what stocks i watch daily you're more than welcome to the link is down below to the discord and we look forward to having you join us so what stock do you want to add to your watch list? Well, this stock is one that I've talked about. Let's go ahead and look at it here together. Back on May 16th, and it was a firm holdings, guys. AFRM. We're going to look at the chart together in just a moment. But interesting enough, back on May 16th, I was talking about Clove as well. So you get to know about stocks way before these squeezes happen. Now, I didn't know that it was going to be a squeeze like this. I was going off of the history of the chart that it had given us 10 to 30% jumps before, and it was heading towards the sevens. It went a little bit lower. It was sitting in the sevens when I talked about it, and this pulled back. And from that point forward, whoever hailed patiently, it jumped up, giving them 100% all the way up to 200% since then. So if you want to know stocks, I'm watching weekly as well. Once you join the Discord, you get access to my weekly and daily watch list. Now, a firm holdings, we were talking about it as it was pulling downwards, and you're going to see it here, right? Back here, it was at $54. The lowest point it had recently hit was $47, and it actually took off higher than that when we look at the chart now. So this already gave 10 to 20% since that point. Well, a little bit closer to 10 to 15, but almost above 15 as well at its highest point, and it's pulling back down now. So this is a great time to actually be watching this stock if you don't have it already on your watch list. Why? Because this stock has long-term potential. Now, if we go ahead and put here the 30 minute, we can go back to when we first talked about it. It was at this point, pulled back down to 50, pulled back down to 49. That was very interesting how I even talked about it here. You know, back in January at 49 a share, it was when the IPO happened. If it got closer to that, very interesting certainly happened and from that point forward it took off to 65 dollars so when you do the math that right there was definitely close to 10 to 20 percent 15 to 20 percent in that jump catching either on the 50s the 49 all the way to the peak of 65. now the stock is in a slight consolidation period because when you zoom out yes it doesn't look like it's consolidating it's going straight up but the way it's pulling back, it almost seems like it's going to kind of sit in a sideways movement, forming a consolidation or go into further weakness, right? Now, if it does consolidate, this is a great time to watch it and understand this stock. If it continues to pull back, the opportunity is becoming even bigger. But if it doesn't do that, which would be the best case scenario, it will slightly consolidate, pull back, and all of a sudden start to go back up. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go straight up like that. Obviously, it has to kind of consolidate, form like a staircase effect, and work its way up. As you see here, 
taking its time. It won't happen overnight. This is a long-term stock, in my opinion. But you definitely want to do your research and due diligence to understand this stock and why you want to add it to your watch list. But as always, guys, this is information to enlighten you guys on what stocks I'm watching, why I'm watching them, and why I see an opportunity. It is not financial advice. I'm not here to tell you to buy, sell, or hold any of these positions. But I am here to share with you guys what I'm seeing and what others may overlook, right? Because there's so many ticker symbols out there and sometimes we don't even know or we miss them. So we try to catch them before they run. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.